Welcome you to the University of Georgia Tifton campus and I will introduce now our Assistant Dean and Director Dr. Joe West and he will say a few words. Thank you Dr. West. Well thank you Amy and I'd like to echo that. Welcome to the symposium. It's an exciting place to be and welcome to the University of Georgia's Tifton campus. We are very very pleased to have groups like you here. Our, our missions are agricultural research, but also agricultural education, uh, both from an adult standpoint and from a student standpoint. So what you're doing right here fits right in uh, with what we're doing. Uh, and again, just welcome. I hope you have a really good day with us. Now, I'm, I'm the assistant dean here, which I'm, I'm the administrator. When things go right, it's because we have great scientists and staff. When things go wrong, it's, it's me. But before that, I was one of those scientists. So I've been a scientist here before I got in this job for about 22 years. And I'm a dairy scientist, so cows eat plants. So <laughs> I apologize for that. But when I was, I was standing in here before you gathered, and I was looking at these, uh, these beautiful pictures here, and it brought back a lot of memories, because I grew up in Middle Tennessee. So the Maypops, a beautiful purple flower, well, I, as a kid, I remember getting those pods and throwing them because they did pop. And we had a lot of fun throwing it at things, including each other. Uh, I saw the tulip poplar, which uh, is a state tree uh, for the state of Tennessee. Honeysuckle grew abundant in our, in our fence rows, and so I remember being out in the early mornings tasting the honeysuckle. I saw the oak leaf hydrangea, which I've got one of those in my yard currently. Um, and of course, I got my master's degree at the University of Tennessee, so that's in the shadows of the Great Smoky Mountains and all the diversity uh, of, of, of plant life there. Beautiful, beautiful native plants there. I spent some time in Texas, and so this time of year and soon uh, are a beautiful time out there with the Indian paintbrush, uh, with the blue bonnets. And so I've got a real appreciation for, uh, for what you do and what your interests are. And I've been in South Georgia now for 29 years. I don't know how long it takes to be a native. I think I'm getting close. But uh, 29 years, 22 years as a scientist, seven years in this current job. And as I've traveled around this state, I've gotten a real appreciation for all the uh, biological diversity that we have. And that's one thing that we as scientists are very interested in because within diversity, lies a lot of clues and a lot of answers to a lot of questions that, that uh, unless, until we study them we really don't know. So, so with all the woody species, the, the annual, the, the, the flowering species, the adapted grasses, uh, there's so many things that come out of it from an environment, an attractive environment um, that are uh, pleasing to us, but you never know what chemical compound in that wild plant that we might find that would actually be a cure for cancer, uh, any number of things. So biological diversity is very important, and what you're doing, what I see, is helping to encourage uh, some of that biological diversity. So I, I appreciate what you do. If you'll allow me to tell you a little bit about the diversity here, uh, you're here at UGA Tifton. We're part of the University of Georgia's College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. There are almost 500 people that work here. There are 82 to 84 PhDs working in all different disciplines of agriculture, uh, whether it's water quality, uh, energy, so of course food production. We think we're very important for our future because in 1960 there were three billion people in the world. They predict in 2050 there will be nine billion people in this world, so it's tripled since well after I was born, uh, and will triple in, in, if I'm lucky I'll be here at 2050, it's, it's optimism there. Uh, but uh, we've got to feed this world, and that's one of the things that we do. But we all also bring things aesthetically to it. Did you ever think about the, where the grass comes in your yard, from in your yard? Uh, we have turf grass program, and I like to tell this story because it tells you a little bit about our reach. Uh, World Cup of Soccer is essentially the Olympics of Soccer played every four years. The last two have been played on turfs that were produced right here in Tiffman, Georgia, and they were played in South Africa, most recently in Brazil. Uh, there are golf courses in Japan and all over the world that are, that are covered in our turfs. Most of the uh, 
Uh, venues uh, for sports in the southeast are covered by our turfs. The Super Bowl this year in Arizona was played on turf that was bred and produced in Tifton, Georgia. Two weeks ago, I met with a group of businessmen from Japan who are buying the rights for a couple of our turfs to use in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. And so uh, that's just one small snapshot of, of what we do. Um, and so we're very proud and, uh, of what we do. And we also, again, are all about education. And so this is one of those great opportunities. The last thing I'll say about education is students can come to us right here in Tifton and get uh, their University of Georgia degree. In fact, many do. We are a transfer major, so students come to us from other institutions, including ABAC next door and others. But they transfer in as juniors and get a degree in agri-science and environmental systems, agricultural education, biological sciences, agricultural business, even stay on for two master's degrees totally in residence here. Uh, and so um, it, we, our, tag, our catchphrase is stay close, go farther. And so we give students the opportunity to earn a true University of Georgia degree here. So I know you don't need to hear from an administrator anymore, but we do appreciate you and all your interest and your enthusiasm. I appreciate Amy Carter and all she's done in the leadership of this, Glenda Gibbs, Dana Cheek, uh, everything that they do in all the groups. We know the garden clubs are very instrumental in this. So we appreciate everything that you do uh, and hope you have a wonderful day here today. Amy, thank you.